Hi, I'm Supervisory Special Agent James Fitzgerald. I'd just like a word when I come in. Um, what? I'm sorry, what is this about? Uh, it's what? about the letter. Can I come in? I'm sorry, I don't know how you got my name or my address, but I'd appreciate it if you get off my property right yeah, now. I'm so I don't... sorry to tell you this, but I read the letter you submitted, and the man who wrote that letter is the Unabomber. Is it? This is a joke. I mean, we. Who? Who the hell are you? What are you? I'm the profiler. That was assigned the investigation. You're, you're the profiler. You just well, well, your boss just called my attorney to communicate that the FBI had ruled out my brother as a suspect. So I don't know what you're doing here. Brother, he's your brother. Is he's your brother. Get off my property! I came forward. I did what was right. He was cleared. David. David, he's your brother. The FBI have gotten thousands of letters sent in. Mothers turning in sons, wives turning in husbands, brothers across the country turning in brothers, just like you. Now, I know you thought it was all over, and me being here is your worst nightmare, but I read every piece of writing that came in. I read thousands of possible leads. I only knocked the one door. Stop harassing me, or I'll call the police. One door! Your door! FBI profiler, you know they're looking for an airline mechanic who is around 45 years old and he is uneducated. He does not fit that profile at all. That's not the profile. Well, it, well, then why are your bosses on Charlie Rose saying this is the profile? It's, it's this is, wrong. It's oh, that the FBI profile, profile is wrong, is wrong but they yeah. stand behind it. And and your boss, he, he rules out my brother's letter, but he's wrong too. Everybody's wrong except for you. Yeah. You know, I I counsel at-risk kids, okay, and. The first thing I tell them, if everybody in the world seems crazy except for you, and you're the only sane one, right? It's time to take a hard look in the mirror. You knocked on the wrong door, and I am done. You need to leave me alone. Please. I'm, please. Get out. Why don't you listen to my profile? I, come on, man. Why don't you listen to the real profile? And if it isn't a match for your brother, you can drive out of here in good conscience, and you never have to see me again. He's 50 to 55 years old. He was raised near Chicago. Read the Chicago Tribune as a boy. He got his PhD between 67 and 72. Sometime after that, he just got cut off from the world. There's no TV, no pop culture, no close friends, no romantic relations, nothing, just isolated. He's smart, patient, extremely precise. And he's angry. It's just... Thin skin takes offense easily, and he lashes out at those that he loves because he's got no one else in his life. Feels underappreciated, victimized, sidelined by his lesser talented peers. He's lonely. He longs for human connection, but he can't find it, and it is tearing him apart. You talked to Linda. She, she, you were talking to her about my brother. Is that she contacted you? I don't know who she is. I don't know who you are. I don't know your brother. I don't know anyone in your life. I do know the Unabomber. I know him like I know myself. Ted. His name is Ted. 